A Quincy driver reportedly made an illegal U-turn, causing a pair of motorcycle riders to collide with his car on State Route 28. 19-year-old Connor Trevino was driving a green 1998 Honda Civic East when he allegedly made a U-turn in front of two motorcycle riders on Saturday afternoon, about a quarter mile from Quincy. According to the Washington State Patrol, Mark Owen, a 57-year-old East Wenatchee resident, was riding a black 2006 Harley Davidson, and he collided with Trevino's car. He was thrown from the motorcycle and injured. Sean Bender, a 39-year-old Yakima resident, set a white 2000 Harley Davidson motorcycle down on the highway and slid into the Honda. He was injured and taken with Owen to the Quincy Valley Medical Center. The State Patrol reports the cause of the collisions was Trevino reportedly making an improper turn. Charges are to be determined with the results of the investigation. The state has granted a license to sell marijuana to an Efreda businessman. Rick Reimers, owner of High Time Station, was one of 24 recreational marijuana retail licenses granted Monday. Reimers Pot Store is located at 1448 Basin Street Northwest in Efreda. He was one of 10 licenses in Eastern Washington and the only one in Grant County. Whether he opens his shop tomorrow, the first day allowed for marijuana retail sales by the State Liquor Control Board is unknown. Reimers was undergoing state training. Two other Moses Lake pot shops drawn in the Washington Liquor Control Board lottery are not ready to open. They are Mary Jane's owned by Rick Padilla at 801 North Stratford Road and the Green Seed owned by Amy DeLugge at 8420 Aspie Boulevard. The future Moses Lake pot shops are still under construction. In Northwest news, the homes destroyed in the March 22nd mudslide at Oso have mostly been removed and Highway 530 has been reopened between Arlington and Darrington. Contractors hired by Snohomish County under a $6 million site restoration contract are sifting through piles of debris that could fill about 17,000 dump trucks. Personal belongings will be saved for owners or loved ones. Man-made debris goes to a landfill and oil will be used to fill holes and trenches. Wood will be ground into chips. The work will likely wrap up in September and the site will be seeded with grass and wildflowers. One body buried in the slide remains missing. You've probably heard the saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Well, one woman's treasure nearly became trash. That's because it was stuffed in an old VCR sent off to recycling. Como 4 reporter Lindsay Cohen has the story. If one man's trash is another man's treasure, perhaps no one knows this better than Mike's son. It's a lot of hard work. Hard work helped build his recycling business into an empire. And while it's mostly circuit boards and old computers, occasionally he finds a rare gem. We probably get two, three hundred VCRs that day. Most people wouldn't blink twice at an old VCR, certainly not Todd Wang. <laughs> I think this one's a little bit worn out. I think it's from like the 70s. <laughs> Young enough, he barely remembers not, I mean, using one. There, so Problem is, his mother did. My mom came back from work and she was just looking for the VCR. And she was really sad, so that's when we knew. Knew that they probably shouldn't have recycled it. A mistake that meant it was headed for a shredder. She was ready to crawl into the trucks on, uh, on Monday morning and uh, go through on her own. She told us and then we were all freaking out as a family. Uh, <laughs> Inside yeah, was some of the family's body. life savings. Now among 12 tons of stuff workers had to dig through. Amazingly, you got refrigerators, people helping out. After hours of searching, they found it. I got it, I got it. That's that type of environment that we work in. That was, I think, the last BCR in the bin. And he like, here, he's the last one. I think it was just more stuck inside like this. Yeah. Today, the Wangs were reunited with the old VCR and nearly $6,000 in cash inside. Please keep it in the bank, not, <laughs> not in the VCR. Yeah, thank you. So, with the promise to still recycle their old electronics, but this time replace them with something a little more practical. I think we'll get a seat. <laughs> In Renton, Lindsay Cohen, Como for News. And that's going to do it for us here at I-501 News. We want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow.